was quick? You resolved it already? Um, actually, we're having a little trouble. Oh? Well, by all means, tell me what you need. I'll help as much as I can. Getting you to go fixing things when you've only just arrived is quite a demand. Oh, that guy? I'm familiar. He used to be a bit of a sorry sight, selling shells that he'd collect on the beach just to get by, but he seems to have suddenly shot up in the world recently. I can only assume he must have found himself a patron after leaving the International Trade Association. Huh. You're saying he used to be a member of the International Trade Association? So he's an outlander too? Yes. Couldn't you tell when you spoke to him? That's right. Werner was born in Mondstadt, then went into the shipping business, trading between Lia and Inazuma. When Inazuma closed to the outside world, he was one of a group of outlanders that ended up stranded on Rito. Huh. What a bummer! The International Trade Association was initially very generous to him, but over time, with decree after decree, the association members found it increasingly difficult to make ends meet. So he left the association and turned his back on them! <laughs> I'm sure it's more nuanced than that. I believe even the most ungrateful and cold-hearted of people still have some amount of gratitude and warmth left in them somewhere. Really? Is that all you need to know? Well then, it sounds like you may have found a way in with him. What are you doing back here? Just because I got plenty of time on my hands doesn't mean I want to waste any of it talking to you. Huh? Where is this coming from? Mondstadt? You were talking about... M Mondstadt? Goodness, I can sense it now. So familiar, but I can't remember the last time I was there. <sighs> the scent of Mondstadt. Oh, how it takes me back. Ah, oh, my hometown. The home of freedom. How I long to go back and visit. Oh, it's working! <sighs> uh, oh, oh, <clears throat> So, trying to play my heartstrings like a liar, are you? I know what you're up to. Huh? What is this? What are you up to now? Just close your eyes already! You mean... the sound of the ocean? <gasps> Leah Harbor! I can see it so clearly. Uh, oh, and the sound of the waves, the calls of the merchants. Xiao Lanterns. <laughs> I'm right there at the Lantern Rite. Oh, look at them floating up into the sky. This guy has a really active imagination. Either that or he really does miss Liyue Harbor. <sighs> Liyue. Liyue. Wait, stop. That's enough. Don't make me relive it anymore. My poor heart can't take it. You mean... the folks from the International Trade Association? And I suppose they are far from home, just like me. Often, I'll sneak down to the shore at night and listen to the sound of the waves. I like to imagine it's the voice of my hometown, carried across the ocean. I've run into folks from the Association more than a few times doing just that, but I always hide my face and slip away. <sighs> Don't you think I've wanted to talk things through with them, and free myself from this anguish? Um, well, no one's stopping you, so... <sighs> They're so resilient. None of them had anyone else to rely on, so they rallied together, committed to finding a way to survive. But I couldn't do it. I'm not strong enough. So, I caved. Those people, they'd make the smallest of promises, offer the most measly benefits, and I'd do whatever they asked of me. And make Mondstatters look like the worst people in the world. All right. I'll tell you the whole story. It's eating me up inside, and I can't take it anymore. You ready to talk now? But I betrayed them. I, I can't show my face there. Uh, come on, you scaredy cat. Look, you messed up, but now it's time to make things right. So come on, get it off your chest. What's the deal here? It's a scheme by the tax collection Ashigaru. Keijiro and his companions. They start by overtaxing the merchants, then take the extra crystal marrow they receive and stockpile it. 
Once the merchants run out of places to buy crystal marrow, they get me to sell that extra stock back to the merchants at an extortionate price, with the proceeds going to the tax collection Ashigaru. It's just... it's plain evil gouging them like this. I'm their puppet, yes. But my cut is a tiny fraction of what we take in total. It's barely enough for me to live on. Evidence? Hmm. You're right. Without conclusive evidence, he will never admit it. Now that I think about it, whenever I report back to him after a sale, he always heads to the same place. It's always made me suspicious. As it happens, I handed some Mora over to him not long ago. I, I can show you where he went if you want. Really? Keijuro, it's him! After him! The International Trade Association. Sorry, I need to think about it. <sighs> How boring. Should I close early? It's not like I'll get any customers. Ah, Ryoko, how's business? All the better thanks to your generous patronage. Good. Thankfully, I earn plenty these days. Oh, but of course, tax collection is difficult work. It's not like I'll get any customers. Now, who else? Too close! It's too close! He'll notice us for sure! that sound? Quiet! Don't let him find us! Must be hearing things. Uh, drat, I'm behind schedule. I need to hurry. He's getting further and further away! Let's catch up a little! He's getting further and further away! Let's catch up a little! What could he be doing at a place like this? It looks like he buried something over there, didn't it? Why don't we take a look? Whoa, it's a ledger. Boring! Paimon thought he'd hidden a big pile of Mora here. <laughs> yeah. Let me take a look here. Ah, yes! This is what we're looking for. A clear and complete record of every single transaction, each one proof of his guilt. Great! Well, now we have our hard evidence. Let's go tell Carissa the good news, shall we? Uh, um, I'll... I'll say goodbye to you here, then. Huh? You aren't gonna come with us? I... I need a little more time before I'm ready to face the head of the association. I'm sorry. We really don't have anything left. If this keeps up, our sales will come in at a loss. There'll be nothing left for us to do but starve. You know the decree. The rules are the rules. No discounts, no exceptions, and no excuses. Hmm? And who are you? Another new member of the association? It just so happens that we found your little ledger. So now we're here to tell everyone all about how you embezzled Crystal Marrow to sell him right back to the taxpayers. Huh? Is this true? You've been swindling us! Well, uh, you, you, you see, the, the ta taxes, uh... Let me take a look at the ledger. Well, would you look at that? Every payment the association has made is right here in your personal ledger. So, Mr. Keijiro, it seems you have some explaining to do. How shall we settle this, hmm? <laughs> 
So you think you can use this against me, do you? It Word has it that Samurai and the Commission place great importance on reputation and prestige. Though I'm sure Commission members won't blame you once word gets out. Huh? Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? No, not at all. I'm simply stating that it would be quite a pity if an illustrious gentleman such as yourself were to have their reputation tarnished. Uh, well, even if what you say is true, what do you suggest we do about it? I believe you still have a quantity of crystal marrow in your possession, correct? Perhaps that crystal marrow could be used as compensation for the recent tax hike, and us merchants could finally have some more breathing room. Is that it? <sighs> Do you have any idea the hoops I had to jump through to get the crystal marrow and keep it hidden? Ah, uh, fine. In that case, I'll send it over to you today. And not even an ounce of shame for his actions. So that's it? My shop's been closed for weeks now. I've even had to ask my friends to help bail me out. What about my losses? Come on, Harrison. We've already struck a good deal here. I'm sick of being pushed around like this. I won't let him off so easily. Harrison. Hey, what's all this racket? Does someone dare question the decree? Ah, Chief, you've arrived. What was all the commotion I heard just now? Oh, we were just discussing a minor tax issue. I do my utmost to lend them a helping hand, but they're never grateful. A helping hand? The only thing you're doing is stuffing your greedy pockets with our hard-earned wealth. I assure you that Hirage Shinsuke will hear of this. Oh, and you dare to utter the Commissioner's name. You outlanders have no respect for the rules. Seize the merchants. We will resolve this dispute back at headquarters. Uh-oh. This is going in a bad direction. Gentlemen, gentlemen, come now. Is there any need for this? If there's a dispute to resolve, let's get a drink and talk it over. Who are you supposed to be? And why in my right mind would I join you for a drink? Here's my card. Huh. You're from the Yashiro Commission. Shh. Huh. Well, this is Kanjo Commission territory. However powerful the Yashiro Commission may be, you have no business meddling in Rito's affairs. <laughs> of course not, of course not. Still, perhaps you could show the young of our clan some courtesy. You wouldn't want your name showing up in a petition to the Shogun, would you? That fan. The Shirasagi Himegimi. I don't need any trouble with her. <sighs> okay, let's forget all this. It'll give us one less thing to worry about. But, Chief! Enough! We're leaving! Let's get dinner one day soon, gentlemen! My treat, I insist! <sighs> no response, huh? I suppose that bridge is well and truly burned, then. Thank you so much, Toma. But I'm sorry your relationship with the Kanjo Commission had to suffer for our sake. <laughs> hey, hey, I was joking. It's a small price to pay, and you're more than welcome. If there's anyone you should be thanking, it's the Traveler. He's the one who found a way to turn things around. <sighs> if nothing else, I'm sure the tax collection Ashigaru will tread a little more carefully in the future. Huh? What was all that? Shh, shh, not here. Too many people listening. <laughs> Let's move somewhere else. Corruption seems rife in the Kanjo Commission. They truly are rotten to the core. <sighs> Alright, time for me to answer your questions. What would you like to know? <laughs> Straight to the point. Let me reintroduce myself. I belong to the Kamisato clan of the Yashiro Commission on Narukami Island. I'm an attendant of the Shirasagi Himegimi. Uh, you've been keeping your true identity a secret from us this whole time? So, the Yashiro Commission... Guessing that's another branch of the Tri Commission? Correct. The Kamisato clan is the head of the Yashiro Commission, who manage ceremonial and cultural affairs. I'd go into more detail on what exactly that covers, but I'm not even sure myself. I'm just someone who was fortunate enough to be taken in by the Kamisato clan. My role is to take care of the daughter of the clan, Kamisato Ayaka, also known as the Shirasagi Himigimi. Seems like she must be super famous in Inazuma, given the reaction of those guys just now. <laughs> oh, most definitely. She's graceful, dignified, and kind-hearted, too. The people of Inazuma quite adore Miss Kamisato. 
Her fame even somewhat eclipses that of her older brother, Kamisato Ayato, despite the fact that he's the current head of the clan. I suppose those who treat others with compassion earn themselves the same treatment in return. Miss Kamisato's situation certainly seems to attest to that. Take me, for example. I'm just an attendant, and yet she treats me as an equal, as she would a friend. You're asking the right questions. And to be honest, I don't want to keep you in the dark any more than is necessary. Firstly, you should know that being a fixer is not something you can fake. I spent the better part of a month tirelessly building up a network of relationships on the island, and I got to know Captain Beto during that time too. Still pretty good going for just a month's work! <laughs> well, maybe I have a slight knack for schmoozery, but the main thing was I had to make sure I'd be in time to receive you when you arrived. Inazuma may have closed off to the outside world, but that hasn't stopped a lot of people from hearing about your feats in Monsta and Liyue. So, when Miss Kamisato heard of your intention to come to Inazuma, she began looking forward to your arrival with great anticipation. She's excited to find out whether the rumors are true. That is, that you have what it takes to change the tide of the times. Change the tide of the times? In the test I gave you earlier, although there were a few hiccups at the end, it was you who found the way to turn the situation around. Navigating powerful people, using their character flaws to your advantage, it's just what Miss Kamisato had hoped to see. With your help, even the Vision Hunt Decree... Ah... Uh, hmm... That's an unexpected development. Perhaps our sources were misleading. Yes, of course. I completely understand, and as agreed, I shall help set that up for you. Huh... Toma sure didn't put up much of a fight. <laughs> well... My work on Rito is done. So I suppose this is goodbye for now. Oh, uh, one more thing. This invitation letter is for you. When you get to Narukami Island, you can find me at the Komori Tea House, as per the letter. Good luck with everything. See you soon. Toma's not such a bad guy, huh? Huh, we should get going. Huh? What's up? Oh, right! Paimon forgot all about that! Wait, so... Did Toma forget that too? Oh, darn it! No wonder he was so matter-of-fact about the whole thing! As soon as we get off Ritu, Paimon's going straight to Kamori Tea House to settle the score! <sighs> well, guess we should give it a try. Let's head to the border and see how far we get. Stop there! Present your travel permits. Sorry, but we really gotta get to Narukami Island. It's kinda urgent. If you don't have a travel permit, this is as far as you'll get. Those are the rules. <sighs> as expected. Traveler, you gotta think of something. How do we get out of Rito? Are you saying we should go and meet with the Kanjo Commissioner? Guess it can't hurt to try. Even if Paimon has a few choice words to say about his subordinates. Who knows? Maybe he's our biggest fan! <laughs> I remember. Halt! This is the Kanjo Commissioner's office. No trespassers. We're here to see, uh, you know, uh, the Kanjo Commissioner? The Kanjo Commissioner seldom entertains outlanders. Leave now or we'll be forced to... Ah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, Commissioner! These two are honored guests from afar. No need to give them the usual spiel. Hmm, come on in. Let's see what we can do for you. Huh! Did you get all that, mister? M my sincere apologies! I am Hiragi Shinsuke, Kanjo Commissioner and Head of the Hiragi Clan. It's an honor to meet you both. Nice to meet you, sir. So, the reason we wanted to come and see you was because... All right, all right, all in good time. Two travelers renowned far and wide have shown up to see me, and I should very much like to make their acquaintance. Let's not limit this to business only. <laughs> so what you're saying is, we really are pretty famous, huh? Absolutely. 
how many other people in the world have what it takes to knock the wind out of Storm Terror's sails and put the Overlord of the Vortex back under the sea, eh? Exactly! Paimon thinks you make an excellent point. And I hear you also foiled a Fatui plot in Liyue Harbor, even beat one of their harbingers in a duel. Is that true? Whoa, you heard about that too? Uh, yep, it's true, all right. Hmm, as I thought. Something wrong? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm simply awestruck by you both, is all. Rito is greatly honored to have you visit us. One other thing I heard about you is your great zeal for helping other people. Hmm, this makes me wonder whether you might be so kind as to render your assistance to the Condrill Commission. Excellent. Well then, you must know the Qingxin. A flower grows on the mountaintops of Liyue. Yep, we've picked a few of those before. So, uh, you want us to go back to Liyue? Yes, bring me 300 Qingxin, would you? Freshly picked, I mean. Uh, did Paimon hear that wrong? Hmm? Too much trouble, is it? Hmm, I see. Then how about this? We have a few items that need delivering. Perhaps you can help with that? That sounds much more like it. 709 letters, to be precise. Hey, what gives? How come you don't have people to do that already? Terribly sorry. We're just a little short on people lately. What sort of an explanation is that? Traveler, what are we going to do? Should we really help this guy? That's the spirit. Don't keep me waiting too long now. <laughs> are you seriously considering taking this job? The terms are ridiculous! Halt, you two! Miss Hiragi has a letter for you. She insists that you read it immediately. A letter? Quick! Let Paimon see! So this means she wants you to secretly meet her at night? But you didn't seem surprised at all by this. What's going on? Huh? Have you been up to something behind Paimon's back? Hmm. Let's ask her tonight and see what she has to say. <laughs> 